Hey, what's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector. Back with another submission video. Um, this one here is going to be a submission to Revolution Card Grading um, based out of a, down by Atlanta, Georgia. And um, I saw their Instagram profile and uh, looked into it. And, you know, I figured it's a new company. Why not give them a shot? Um, this would be like one of their first received submissions. I think they're taking like 1,500 cards in um, to start out. So I emailed them. They emailed me back and said, yeah, go ahead. So I got 25 cards I'm going to send in. It's 35 bucks a card. Um, a lot of the stuff is um, probably will be just like PC, my personal collection stuff. Um, so I got a little bit of everything in here. Uh, modern um, some older 90s stuff too so but yeah I'm gonna check them out see how they look so their slabs are kind of like a kind of like HGA a little bit as far as the design goes it's not I mean I think HGA's look better but these look kind of cool where they actually um, the label and the border on their slabs is printed into the slab so it's like a sublim subliminal uh, printing process sublimation so it's a sublimation printing process i'm i'm guessing because that's you know you can print that way on a pretty much any solid surface i believe and uh so they got something like that and then also they have uh <clears throat> they do random prism like labels and cracked ice labels and things like that so you could you could send in 30 of the same card and one of them is going to come back you know out of, they, they state like one out of 25 would be a a prism um label or cracked ice type looking thing so that's why i'm doing 25 cards i'm assuming that one of these is going to come back that way so hopefully it's on one of the ones in here that are kind of a prism or cracked ice on top of that. But anyways, let's just get into it. We've got 25 cards here. I kind of went through them all, checked them all out, to see what kind of grades I think they, they should get. And uh, we'll start from the top of the list here. So um, first one off is James Wiseman, rookie NBA hoops. Um, I'm thinking this one gets a, a nine just because it's got a, a chip in the top left corner up here. A little white spot in the top corner there. Very, very, very small, but once you put it under the microscope, you will see it. But that's that. Nothing else wrong with it from what I can tell. Uh, next one is Anthony Edwards, NBA Hoops rookie card. So these I pulled out of packs on my other videos. Um, I'm thinking this one gets a nine. It's, it's got the same type of thing. It's got a little white chip on the top corner, which out of those fat packs, I see them getting banged around, you know, and it's probably not easy to get a, a 10 out of these things. Uh, next one, LaMelo Ball, rookie. And I think this one here looks really good. So I'm thinking this one is a 9.5, like a gem mint. Will it get a 10? I don't know. But um, it looks really, really, really good. So that's a little Lamello. And then I got Tyrese Halliburton, rookie, as well. And I'm thinking the same thing. It looks really clean. Um, 10 to, you know, a 9.5 gem mint. 10, I don't know. But um, I'm just going to say 9.5. Uh, next one is a Christian Wood card, uh, blue cracked ice from the 2019 Panini Hoops Premium stock. Um, this is not numbered, but I'm thinking a 9 or a 9.5 on this one. Um, there's a scratch, you know, like one of those lines on the back that's noticeable. Other than that, it looks pretty good. So, but I, I like these... Uh, same color as the jersey type of thing. It looks centered pretty well, so let's see how that looks. Uh, next one here is Giannis Antetokounmpo, um, 2019 Hoops Premium Stock Silver Pulsar Prism. 
And uh, I'm thinking this one gets like a, a 10. Um, 9.5 for sure. Because I, I could not find anything wrong with this thing. And I looked it over a lot with the magnifying glass. And I couldn't see anything. So we will see how this one comes back. But I think it looks perfect. Uh, here's a Giannis' 2015 Prism. Um, doesn't have the, it's not the best condition. It's got scratch on the face and it's off-centered. Um, so I'm thinking an 8.5 or something like that, somewhere around that area. But personal collection stuff. Really excited to see this, these slabs. I know they're probably not going to be comparable to HGA for value yet. Um, but, uh, or PSA for that matter. But you know what? <clears throat> Might as well give them a shot. There's a lot of grading companies that are popping up, like third, the smaller, you know, collectors are getting together and des designing slabs and figuring stuff out and. You know, it's, it's bound to happen. We'll see what, what happens long term, but, you know, give them a shot. This one here is uh, Kevin Porter Jr.'s 2020 Prism um, Blue Shimmer. This is out of 35. So, pick that up. It's a sick looking card. Here's a uh, 2020 Prism. Giannis uh, Fearless Silver Prism. Um, oh, so back on this uh, Kevin Porter, um, I'm thinking this is a uh, a 9.5. It looks really good. And then for this one here, uh, 9.5, maybe a 10. Um, the only thing that I really noticed anything wrong with it, it was that the uh, the outline around the body, that silver outline. It's off a little bit, shifted this way. But other than that, it's perfectly centered from what I can tell. And I didn't see anything else wrong with it. Looks cool. I like that background, those colors back there. Uh, here's another 2020 prism. Um, Dennis Rodman's red prism. And I'm thinking this one gets a 9.5. Um, it looks really, really good. Uh, numbered out of 299 the 208 perfectly centered it's jersey colors basically so <clears throat> yeah pumped about that uh dennis robin beam team 92 stadium club this is the members only so it's got that embossed stamp up here it says members only on it um i don't think it's going to come back with any stellar grade i think it's like an eight 8.5 or something like that just because of all the little white chips along the edges um, it's also off centered but this one looked better than the other one I had so I'm sending this one in personal PC cards uh, here's a uh, 2020 Donruss uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo's Marvels card so this one here looks pretty good. Um, I think there's white corners like here, here, and here. Like there's just just the tip, and um, there's a there's a there's a dot. Like whoever I bought this from on eBay, when they shipped it to me, there was some sort of debris inside the card saver when they taped it all together, and over the transit time, that little piece of whatever it was just kind of embedded into the card. So like there's this little circle back here. Um, otherwise, I think it, uh, yeah, it's just got like one speck on each of these three corners, but otherwise it looks pretty good. But I, again, I don't know how strict they are for grades and stuff. So I'm just gonna say like eight, five on this, but I have a few of these now and I figured, you know, I'll send one in for the PC. Let's see how these slabs look. And here's another one, that a card that I love. Um, I've sent in many of these to PSA. Uh, 1997 Metal Universe, Rodman. I'm thinking it's an 8.5 as well, maybe a 9. White chipped corners on it. Uh, here's another Dennis Rodman 90 Skybox. 
I'm thinking this is a nine. It's got a slight, like a manufacturing line scratch type of thing that goes across the middle of it. It's hardly noticeable, but I did pick it up because this looks like it's centered really, really good. And uh, you know, then this is my PC guy, so. And here's another one. So Jam City, uh, this is Ultra, Fleur Ultra from 1997. And I'm thinking 9.5 on this. I didn't see anything really wrong with it. And I just love the look of it, like that um, graffiti type look to it. It's dope. Uh, I got another LeBron 2015 hoops chalk toss. Uh, I think in this one is a uh, nine five as well. I mean, I didn't really see anything wrong with it. It looks really, really good all the way around. And another skybox 1990 Magic Johnson. Um, I think it's a nine or a nine five. It's off centered a little bit. It's kind of pushed down this way, but I actually asked, um, I didn't ask them. So I'm not sure what they use for, for 10 grades or nine, five grades or whatever for their centering. But I guess we'll find, that's kind of like the other test of this too, is like how, how strict are they going to be here? Um, here's a John Collins optic shock 2017. Um, I think it's a nine or a nine five. It's got a chip on one of the little, little tiny white spot on one of these back corners. You can't, you can't even see it with the naked eye. But if that goes and passes, um, I think and this is a, a nine five gem mint, most likely. <clears throat> I got a cold or something, man. Just dying. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but today just did not go well but I want to get this video done because I got to ship these things out um, here's a 1990 upper deck Ken Griffey jr. Uh, I'm thinking this is a, a gem mint 9.5 um, everything's pretty much perfect on it even the hologram so it might get a 10 I, I don't know uh, here's another Ken Griffey jr. 1989 classic travel update um, I'm thinking this is an eight five to a nine. It's got a couple small, small chips on the corners. Um, man, I got so many. I got like, you know, fifteen or you know, fourteen more of these sets. I could probably find another one that's gonna work, but I really just don't want to dig them out right now. I'm just gonna let them sit. So this one looks pretty good all the way around. So we'll see how, what happens. Again, PC card, you know, it's gonna be in a slab that looks cool. So. Uh, another King Griffey Jr. This is um, the 1990 Fleer League Leaders. And um, I'm thinking it's a nine, maybe. It's got a soft uh, corner. Um, sorry about that. See that? Yeah. And I think it's, uh, that one looks pretty good. I think it's just that one. Yeah, just that one corner. A little, little roundy looking when you get it underneath the microscope, but naked eye, it looks great. Uh, I think it's centered really well. Looks about perfect. So, I don't know, these uh, insert league leaders, all-star cards um, like that from the 90s, I, I really like because they're just so over... They're overlooked, in my opinion. Uh, here's another one of my favorite cards. Um, is Magic versus Jordan from 91 Upper Deck. And I'm thinking it's a nine. And the only reason is there's a very, very, very small little dimple on this, uh, on this corner. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to tell through the plastic. But there's like a little tiny little circle dent type of thing going on here. So that shouldn't affect it too much. So I'm, I'm hoping it comes back a, a nine. Uh, 
Uh, this one here is the Jordan 91 upper deck. Uh, 9 to 9.5 is what I'm guessing. It's centered really well. Um, it does have some hologram issues. Like uh, if you look at it, you'll see like some of it like chipped out kind of like it's not complete on the bottom there but um i don't know we'll see what happens because if you look at this hologram big time difference right so we'll see but anyways it's one of my favorite cards of his just because it was kind of a couple years after i started collecting hardcore and just started pulling those uh, this one here is a Fleer Ultra um, Jordan, and I'm guessing this is a 1998. Um, I'm thinking 8.5, maybe a 9. It's got some uh, bottom edge issues on the back. Um, little little white little chippies on the on the bottom here. You, you can't see them with the naked eye, but they are definitely there. Um, also looks like there's some uh, like uh, gold like from the from the card behind it or something like some of this foil is kind of like sticking on the back there see it and I mean I, I don't know can you scratch it off will it, will it affect it I don't want to make it any worse than it is but there's little spots on here I just kind of noticed that but well, let it ride. I just like this card anyways, so it's a great picture. It's got his uh, Jordan OG Jordan ones on. So this was the last game that he played at the um, Madison Square Garden as a bull during a regular season. That was his last game there. I think he dropped like 50 some points that night too. And then the last card is a uh, Superstar Summit Jordan Upper Deck 2001. Um, I've been buying these cards. I like them. I like the look of them. They got a little bit of that refractor holographic uh, look. It's not overpowering, just enough to make it pop a little bit. So I really like these cards. Um, this one's centered really well and it looks pretty good. I'm thinking it's a nine. It's got some white chips on corners on the front and back. So maybe it's an eight. It might be an eight. Again, I don't know how some of these things, how strict I am being with myself lately, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So again, this is going to going out to revolution card grading down in Atlanta. It's actually Winder, Georgia. Um, sending these off tomorrow, which is going to be, um, April 19th and uh, it's a 30-day turnaround so you know mid-May or so hopefully get these things back and we'll take a look at them do a blind reveal see how their slabs look and um, you know it'd be nice to have somebody else on the in the hobby grading cards because we all know that it's um, it's needed for sure with PSA being down and just backlog forever and BGS same way so there's definitely room for somebody to step up and and do do what they say they're going to do um so we'll see what happens um thanks for checking it out please subscribe if you haven't if you're enjoying the content and um like the video hit that bell for notifications on new videos when i drop them and we'll see you in the next one later